Obviously, it's really hard to get any concrete ideas of what your team looks like after just a weekend. But kind of just give me a reaction to the the series down in Arkansas. It was a uh, it was a frustrating it was a frustrating weekend. Um, there's not you know moral victories or anything really positive to take away from from that weekend. Um, the the surprise was that we just didn't swing the bats very well, which I think this team can can really hit. So if I think if that's going to be our weakness right now, I, I feel a lot better than if. We just pitched it terribly, or we couldn't field it. We couldn't pick it up and throw it to first base. Uh, defensively, we played a pretty sound series of baseball. Uh, pitching the you know Sunday got away a little bit, um, but the pitching wasn't uh, wasn't the weakness this weekend. We just we didn't swing the bats very well, and I think this is a pretty good offensive team. So um, that, that you know I'm not I'm not pulling my hair out yet, but uh, but definitely a frustrating weekend. At the same time, on an individual level, some guys. You, you wonder what they're going to look like. And, you know, Cal and Landon coming into their first collegiate games look pretty solid. Just kind of give me a reaction to them and then maybe some of the other freshmen that got in this weekend. Yeah, especially for, you know, Arkansas is a really good team. I don't want to, you know, we, we went 0-3 this weekend. It's really frustrating. Part of that was Arkansas played really good baseball, too. I think they made one error on the weekend. They didn't walk guys at all. Um, they, they've got, you know, they're talented. They recruit really well. They recruit at a high level. It's a good ball club. Uh, so for Cal and Landon to go out there and do that against team, a team like that, um, you know, I think those are freshmen that are ready to come in and contribute in a big way uh, early. That that was that was good to see for those two guys uh, to not be overmatched at the plate, but even even more to look like two of our better offensive players this weekend. Um, you know, that, they're definitely excited about both of those guys and their development and prog- progression and what they're going to be able to do in our lineup. Uh, we definitely need some of these guys who have have hit well for us in the past to start picking it up. Um, and like I said, not 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 freaking out over one weekend, but uh, but but outside of Cal and Landon and, and Ross Haffey a little bit, we didn't get much production from from just about anybody else in the lineup. So it's gotta it's gotta get better. From the pitching side of things, freshman Grant Harwood got the start on Sunday. It looked pretty solid. Can you just kind of evaluate what he looked like out there? I was excited about Grant, and that's funny because I, I thought that was. Um, the best the best opportunity we had to win a baseball game was Sunday. We're sitting there two to one in the fifth inning, and uh, and Grant Grant threw the ball well. He got us he got us uh, pretty close to a quality start there. And, and honestly, if it wasn't for um, us being you know easy on a freshman arm, he, he probably could have gone out there and finished that fifth inning. Um, but that that's that's as frustrating as anything. As Grant goes out there and pitches really well, you know we got a guy in the bullpen who who threw well against them on Friday. Um, we bring Andy back in Almquist on Sunday, and and we get exactly what we want. There, it's their best hitter. Uh, guy's been lighting us up all weekend, and and Andy gets him to hit a dribbler right back to him on the mound. That's the second out of the inning, and it just you know whatever it is, the ball spinning extra, it takes a little funny hop, and instead of getting that out at the plate, we end up not getting it out at all, and then it kind of snowballed on Andy a little bit, um, which is frustrating for him, cause Andy, because he did what we wanted him to do. He executed a really good pitch against a really good hitter, um, but he, but frustrated for Grant too that that he didn't get a, a better outcome on that really good start. I thought. I know your vision for the program is to be top, a perennial top 25 at some point. Just talk about the value of going to a place like Arkansas. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be at that point someday, you're gonna be playing in environments like that. Just talk about the experience value with, with going there. Well, that's probably the most frustrating part about this weekend is is leading up to it, and we, we watch us, we inter squad, we get to do all these things, and and by all, the the feel for me is like, man, this team's ready to compete with with teams at this level. We're going to go play a good SEC team, but man, we're we're ready to compete with them. And the fact that I don't think we were able to put too much of a uh, and any anxiety in Arkansas's dugout this weekend was really frustrating. You know, they they, you know, the game the first two games weren't blowouts by any stretch, but uh, I'm not sure that, that there were too many nervous fellas in, in the Arkansas dugout. So that that's the most frustrating part of this weekend because I do think this team is uh, is ready to compete at that level from a talent standpoint. Um, so so something's got to get better uh, from what we did this weekend from the execution standpoint. And and honestly, it, it really was. It was just a. Too many, too many good hitters had bad weekends this weekend, which sometimes it happens. You, you, you know, it it looks a lot worse when you're one weekend in and we didn't hit, and that's why we lose three games. Um, but I think over the over the course of the season, this team's going to prove that it's a good offensive team, and we just gotta we gotta keep working. You always kind of pride yourself on making sure that you guys are the toughest out, you know, toughest baseball team that day. Um, just talk, and I got some responses from Arkansas people saying you guys worked really hard. They the JT Stone effort in that Sunday game, the Dallas catch, obviously the sports are in top ten. Just talk about. You know, the results didn't go your way, but just in terms of the grit and the effort, particularly the outfield this weekend. Well, I think defensively it showed itself in a really positive way. Um, Dallas Hall, you know, running all over the place. He made a lot of really good plays out in center field. Steve Sada made a really nice catch in center field on Friday. 
um, as well. Uh, Cal Elvers made a couple really nice plays. Landon Stevens was really solid uh, in right field, which is a position he hasn't played a whole lot of, so that was good to see. JT Stone almost runs through a wall in left field trying to make a play for his pitcher. So that part of it was really good, and I will say the effort on on the, um, the defensive side of things was really good, and the, the execution was really good. But in the same way that we want to be tough and gritty defensively, we were anything but that in the batter's box this weekend. We weren't tough or scrappy or gritty in the batter's box. We struck out looking in times where you couldn't strike out looking. We um, we didn't get a ton of leadoff guys on, but when we did, we didn't do anything with them. Uh, so that it's got to be it's got to be everything. You know, if we're going to be a tough, scrappy team, if that's how you're going to uh, a label you're going to put on this team, it's got to be everything. And this weekend, it wasn't. Now looking at this weekend, four games in Tampa at USF. Just talk to me about what the expectation is going to be there. I know with four games, you kind of maybe stretch a few arms a little bit, see some guys that maybe didn't get in last week. Just talk about kind of maybe the plan going into this weekend. Well, I'm, I'm really – I, I'm 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 frustrated right now because we we come off a bad weekend and, and and didn't play particularly good baseball. Um, but I I do really like this team. I think this team is as as good a team as we've had it, it, definitely since I've been here. And I I think is gonna is gonna prove um, to to people who care about Miami baseball they're they're gonna be pleased with what the the results are this season. We've got a lot of work to do, and I think this weekend is a big step in that direction. We've got some stuff we got to clean up at practice today and tomorrow. Um, but I, I expect a a much better offensive showing this weekend against another good team. You know, this is a South Florida team that's very good. Um, but I, I, I don't think there's too many pitching staffs in the country that should be able to do what Arkansas did to us this week. I'm not saying we're the best offensive team in the country by any stretch, but we are really good. And I don't think there's a pitching staff, again, that will be able to do what Arkansas did to us. So I'm excited to see the, the, the development of our hitters uh, week to week, um, the progress that we can make this week. And I think that's a big that, that's what I'm most excited about. Most of our pitchers actually did get in um, last week, and, and for the most part it was good. Um, Spencer Mraz, freshman, getting to see him go out there and get some outs against a really good lineup. Um, that was good for him. Obviously, Grant Hartwig, the freshman, had a had a good outing. So I, I think we, we know, kind of know what we've got from most of those guys. Uh, still waiting for Jacob Banks and Ryan Marski to get healthy. They won't pitch this weekend either. Uh, so I think the biggest thing I'm looking for is to see what, what step our offense can make. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, thank you.